Yo, what's up everybody? Got an interesting tutorial here for you today. A lot of people want to wonder how do they get those countdowns and stuff onto their stream when they're going on breaks, when they're getting ready to go live, and when the show is going to end. And they can also do countdowns for giveaways and stuff too. Well, I'm here to show you how to do that. Now first thing you need, you need this application called SNAS. Let's see if I can go to the website real quick and grab it. Just type in SNAZ, S-N-A-Z, into the Google bar. Wait, hold on, I got N-S, <laughs> fail. S-N-A-Z, bam. SNAZ timer. I'll just type in that. Bang. Free SNAZ, open broadcast software. Bam, you want to go to this first one. Click on that. You download SNAS. It's not going to be for the OBS. Like once you get it, it's going to be a separate application or whatever. You get the SNAS. You get the little application for your desktop. You want to click on that. And this was pretty easy right here. The one I use, the ones I use from this, I use Kronos. And this is where I do my countdowns. Like if I'm getting ready to go on, I usually put like 10 minutes before I go on. So it'll start a countdown. So you can see, bang, bang, 59, 58, and we can stop that. Then once it's like the countdown is over with, you can put this little message right here. You can make it say whatever you want to say. I just put in we are live, because then <laughs> we are live at that point. So in order to get this into your stream, all you have to do is right here. Just copy that. Hit control C. You want to go back over to your X split. You're going to go to others. Wait, others. You're going to go to title legacy. You should have with the um and do a new X split update by now. All you want to do is click on let's see remote text updates. Once you click on that, you want it to update every second. So I usually drop this down to one. So it always be caught up with the um, SNAS application. Because if you leave it at 10, like the seconds will update like 10 seconds later. So it'll be like, when it say 10 minutes, the next time you'll see that timer change is when it hit like uh, 50 seconds, like 950 or something. Then you want to go here, control V in the remote URL section. Now, if you want, you can have this scroll. You really don't need to. All you got to do is just click on there. You can make it whatever color. I usually use this blue because it's for my channel right here. This one right there. Then bang. Once you get that in there, you see how it's empty right now. <laughs> Nothing. And that's because there's no timer going. But once you hit start, there it goes. There goes your countdown. You don't need the screen reads and any timers or anything. This is very simple application. You just do that. And another thing about this is you can also, you can also, I use this right here, Chrono Up. Well, that was Chrono Down we just used, but this right here is Chrono Up. Now this right here, I use a section on my screen, like at the bottom of my panel, it says live. Once you hit start, it'll start doing a count up. So if you want this, you can actually show viewers how long you've been live. And again, you can do the same thing with this. Just copy and paste this. Let's go ahead and do that. Get that in there. Copy and paste me. And go wait, oh, right here. Bang, remote URL. Wow. You want to hit control V right there and like I usually for the live part I would usually probably use red or whatever red or white so they can pretty much see we just use the um let's just use red for now on that one since the other one is different then just hit okay then bang it'll show how long you've been live 48 seconds oh yeah one thing yeah once again Make sure, you see how that's updating like late? Go back over to configure. It's because of this refresh interval six seconds right here. You want to click that back down. 
and then you'll see the timer just going off like it should and let's see what else do I use twitch viewers I use this too as well like this information you have to put in your information from your channel and stuff what this does is you can have like a twitch like the count like how many viewers you have in your stream it'll put a little number right here I usually put like my channel's logo right here then I have like the red numbers right there so I can see on the screen like how many people was viewing and then update pretty much just like these does and what else we got here timer date and countdown this right here I use this for giveaways like when I'm getting ready to do a giveaway I usually announce it like a week or two before time or whatever and I'll have this going on and it'll do like a countdown what was that please pick a time that's later oh yeah that's because of that yeah this will do a countdown right here you can do pretty much the same thing once you like pick the timer and everything another link like one of these right here will pop up right here and you could copy and paste that over here too as well and that's it pretty much for this let's see countdown what do i have over here 12 to 26 let's 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 actually do this one first let's say i'm gonna do a giveaway for the first the 21st or whatever and okay that's still there first the 21st you want to stop that bang ching 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 chow wow and there goes the countdown here goes the link oh it popped up down here you can just copy and paste this link right here copy bang go back over to your X split add others and once again you go to text legacy bang and you once again you want to refresh the interval go here control V get that in there because of my channel colors I usually use that and bang uh, now when I do my countdowns for this stuff I usually put it like right at the top in the middle like right up here so people can see it and now I have like something here that says countdown to giveaway <laughs> pretty much let's show let's show you how to do that too while we're at it I love using the text title thing right here countdown just put till till giveaway and I'll leave that white and you can hit scroll leave scrolling on slow you don't need to remote text update because it's just a regular text then you just bang once you get that scrolling put that right up there next to that so people will know that you're going to do a giveaway when this timer hits zero and it'll like always stay updated like every time you like log in to this uh, SNAS application it will stay updated all you got to do is hit the start button and it will like update like fast and update fast right to what time it is and everything so you'll never have to like do anything else with this until the counter hits zero you can just go ahead and hit stop or you can get it out of your stream by just clicking on one of these checks and there you go just clicking on that stuff and all right that's pretty much it with this snaz up with this snaz um application it's a very cool application that i definitely use on my everyday basis when i'm streaming i hope every hope this helped a lot of people out you can always come check me out at kevz at twitch tv or twitch tv twitch.tv slash kevz little tongue twister right there <laughs> i appreciate your time go ahead and hit the like button if you want thumbs up thumbs down and hope this helps a lot of people and we are done